Occupational exposure banding, also called hazard banding, health hazard banding, or exposure banding, is a process for assigning chemicals into categories based on the chemical's toxic potency and the risk of adverse health effects associated with exposure. The result of this process is called an occupational exposure band, or OEB, and is used to protect the health of workers exposed to the chemical on the job. An OEHS professional only creates an OEB in situations where a chemical has not been assigned an occupational exposure limit. OELs have extensive data requirements and are often authoritative or regulatory, while OEBs have fewer data requirements. However, the number of chemical solutions and products on the market far exceed available OELs. Although not an OEL substitute, occupational exposure banding provides a framework to help protect workers' health during a chemical exposure, even if you lack certain information on the substance. NIOSH occupational exposure banding process considers nine health endpoints and groups chemicals into one of five exposure bands. These bands are air concentration levels at which workers dealing with a chemical can expect to be protected. A Tier 1 assessment is based on publicly available data and requires the least amount of training, while Tier 2 employs database searches of health effects for more experienced professionals, and Tier 3 utilizes peer-reviewed reports, advanced toxicology or IH experience, and comes closest to performing a quantitative risk assessment. The NIOSH Online eTool streamlines the occupational exposure banding process, allowing users to apply toxicology information for a given chemical to automatically generate a Tier 1 OEB. The Tier 2 process, which requires users to find relevant data in recommended sources, can require several hours. Advanced users may choose a Tier 3 assessment, which uses all available information about a chemical and professional judgment to assign a band. For all three tiers, the band assignment should be updated as data become available over time and is only an unofficial guideline. To learn more about OEBs and their values, visit AIHA.org OEB today.